This extraj topic is briefly mentioned in both Ghai and Nelson and it is very relevant to the topic that we are discussing. What is Barker's hypothesis? Barker's hypothesis basically says that fetal problems are responsible for adult problems, right? So, it is also called as fetal origin of adult disease, FOAD. It is also called as developmental origin of health and disease, that is DOHAD. These are the alternative names. What does Barker hypothesis say? Look at the photograph. Now, if there is a pregnant lady, this is a pregnant lady and this is the fetus. If this pregnant lady is given adequate nutrition, the fetus grows adequately. When the fetus is born and it is a baby, the baby will be healthy and this healthy baby will turn into an adult, healthy adult. So, no diseases will be there. On the other hand, if there is maternal malnutrition in pregnancy, the fetus will not grow and so there will be IUGR. You can compare the two pictures. This is a small fetus. This is IUGR which has have happened. If there is IUGR, intrauterine growth retardation, the child when he will be born, he will be having a low birth weight. And this low birth weight child, what will do is, whenever there will be fetal disease and fetus will be low birth weight, fetal will, fetus will be IUGR and when he is born, there are changes which happen in the physiology of fetus or newborn. The, these changes make sure that the body tends to develop a conservation kind of physiology. What it means is the metabolism will slow down. And so, these patients when they become adults, these fetuses, these children when they become adult, they will have higher chances of developing diseases like obesity. They will have higher chances of developing diseases like type 1 diabetes mellitus as well as type 2 diabetes mellitus. And they will have higher chances of developing cardiovascular diseases. And this is related to the disease, the malnutrition produced in utero and first few weeks of life. This is called as Barker hypothesis. Stress, less weight, malnutrition in fetus and in early newborn period leads to irreversible changes in the metabolism of that organism. And so, when they become adult, they manifest in the form of obesity, diabetes and cardiovascular diseases. This is called as Barker hypothesis. How to remember for the future exam? You can remember like this, that fetal undernutrition leads to low birth weight, low birth weight when the child is born.